as its general manager. EN safeguards company's goal of being the premier provider of information and business solution to the automotive sector and its affiliates, banks, insurance companies, and government bodies. We have now with us Ian, who will provide the insights upon the automotive sector. How are you doing, Ian? Very good, thank you very much. So, as you know, that year 2016 was a very challenging year due to various economic reasons. Yeah. Uh, what were the key factors, in your opinion, that uh, affected that uh, challenges in 2016? Well, I, I think it's a stock answer that, that the crash of the oil prices didn't help um, by any stretch of the imagination. The oil price crashed from $115 in June 2014 uh, to as low as just below $35 in February 2016. So there were huge redundancies in the oil and gas sector. But that then took time to filter through to the automotive industry because as people are laid off, they try and find alternative employment, but a lot of them have left the region. Um, and also other companies that are associated with the oil and gas sector have had to restructure. The biggest restructuring went through 2015 and 2016. So, so really that's the, uh, the main reason why there's been such a correction uh, within the automotive business. Okay, so how do you see the current GCC market in this current year? Well, the current GCC market is down about 30% uh, on 15, and if we take 15 to 14, it's a combination, if, if we add the numbers together, it's just over 50%. And as I said, this is, this is a market correction. Um, the GCC markets, and especially the UAE, has been punched above the weight for far too long. There's been a lot of re-export in there that have given some fat to the numbers. Um, but I think the uh, I think the the volume is at its lowest point. Um, I think there can be some building from here, um, but I don't see any growth for 17, 18, or 19. Um, I think it's going to be flat, at best 5% in 2020. So this is a new normal. The size of the pie is the size of the pie. Then distributors and manufacturers should be looking to gain market share and remain profitable because because margins are being squeezed. Okay. But what is the condition of re-export from GCC market to the rest of the world? Well, it used to be about 30%. Um, there's, a, there's a data provider that, that, that does provide some data that's alternative to ours across the GCC. Um, but that includes re-export numbers. Now, the 30% has dropped significantly um, to probably the the largest exporter of motor vehicles is, uh, I won't say the brand, but they've always been at 30, 35%, probably about 15% now. Um, so some of the markets as well, Sub-Saharan Africa uh, have, and the CIS states have started to close down. Um, China are still actually importing, um, but it's, it's, it's pretty much limited now. Okay, so as there are no official figures for channel-wise sales, yeah. How does Autodata figure out retail sales, sales especially in the UAE market? Well, I, I, I've personally got nine and a half years of regional experience in this market with retailers, um, the biggest retailers and two major manufacturers. So from that, you can pull some numbers together from it because it's all about experience cause, because we're also getting some real numbers from, from our partners. Okay, so the numbers that are sold in fleet and the numbers that are sold in retail. So we use a rule of thumb that as an average it will be 60-40 retail to fleet. In some manufacturers and distributors it's as much as 50-50 or 60-40 the other way. But if we looked at a blend across the industry then I'd say 60-40. Okay, and there's a new VAT announced. How do you think that will affect the automotive sector? Well, contrary to popular belief, there isn't going to be a massive rush to buy new cars at the end of the year to... Um, to, uh, to get ahead of the VAT implementation. Um, and the main reason why is because I guarantee that come January the 1st, every distributor and manufacturer will have a campaign that says no VAT. So they'll swallow it in the margin. So if you're a distributor, you could potentially increase your base price by 2%, give 5% away, so your net giveaway is 3 But what is going to... What is going to happen, there's going to be increased demand for nearly new used cars and I'll explain what I mean by that. The VAT is going to be applied on a new car on the showroom price. So if your, show, if your vehicle in the showroom is 100,000 dirhams, it then becomes 105. VAT is going to be applied on used cars significantly different. 
the VAT is going to be applied to the margin or the profit that the distributor has in the used car when the vehicle is sold. So, if you could have potentially a six month old, two trim levels higher um, equivalent vehicle for 80,000 dirhams, and if the distributor's got 10% margin in that, the VAT element is only 400 dirhams. So, there's going to be a massive demand for nearly new used cars, which is a good thing because that can stimulate the new car market because distributors can start short, short cycle leasing programs um, where customers do want to drive a new car for a lower monthly payment and guarantee a buyback 6, 12 or 24 months down the line. That should be the strategy. That's how a mature market would work and that's what the GCC needs to adapt. And who are your customers? Anybody that has anything to do with an automobile. So we talk about manufacturers, distributors, independent retailers, insurance companies, banks, government bodies, and also the consumer. Um, we're expanding our consumer offering this year significantly. Um, and not because, um, not because we, we need to make sure that the consumer is better informed and can make better uh, more informed decisions when they buy a car and that's what our job is. Our job is also to educate people when it comes to the automotive market and what they should be looking for when they're buying a car, who's doing the best deal, not necessarily the cheapest car, but what's better for them. Um, so th that's our portfolio. Okay, and what's the vision of Autodata Middle East for the Middle East well, for me, it's, it's quite simple. Uh, our vision is to be the number one trusted supplier um, because trust and credibility is, the, is our core value. Um, we have to be credible. We have to be accurate. Um, I know for a fact that we are 95% accuracy on vehicle valuation. Um, we are 100% uptime on, system, uh, on our systems, so we have no downtime. Um, and trust and credibility is our core value and that's for everybody that has anything to do with an automobile. That's great and how beneficial is Autodata as a business solution provider? Our return on investment is, is uh, extremely compelling, in fact I'd say it's staggering without giving you exact numbers um, but I'll give you one example. Um, if a, uh, an automotive dealer invests in our valuation system which not only gives an indicative value of a trading vehicle, but also measures the buying process from start to finish. Um, and if that distributor appraised 100 cars and currently only buys 20, so there's a 20% conversion rate, maybe 30% of that 100 don't trade the car in because the value is wrong, they underbought it, they bid it too low. Because any used car business, if you don't buy enough, you don't sell enough. If you don't pay right, you don't buy enough, you don't sell enough. So if we can bridge that gap through our system, the return on investment based on the system, uh, um, the, the system investment is over 500% in 12 months. Okay, thank you Ian for your time. And let's hope the year 2017 is a prosperous year for the automotive sector. Thank you. So that was Mr. Ian Beatty from Autodata Middle East. For more info, log on to carinsight.com or follow us on our social media handles of Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. It's carinsight.com. Buy smart and drive smart.